Hello everyone and welcome to my video at the Viceroy Brasserie Abbas Langley Watford and this video we will demonstrate to you how to make we call alu bhaji which is potato stir potato fried and we have the ingredients here as you can see uh, first of all you need to have there's some finely chopped potatoes here and we have some dice dice garlic here and salt and we got some chili powder there finely chopped coriander here and onion chopped up tomato and a mix mix bowl of mixed powder little bowl of mixed powder and we have some vegetable oil here so basically what you need you need, I will you need three finely three to four clove of finely chopped garlic one tablespoon of mixed powder half tablespoon of chili powder one teaspoon of salt and you need a small chopped onion one large tomato chopped here and a sprinkle of coriander if you can't have coriander you can use always parsley and you need three large potato finely chopped like a french fries small pieces of french fries and we will show you how is done in the next video thank you here we go chef Imran is tossing two three large tablespoon four large tablespoon of vegetable oil into the frying pan and he's, simmer, he's simmering the the oil now he's going to put the chopped finely chopped garlic in, in there so let it simmer for a few minutes As you can see, so the oil is boiling, it's giving that rich garlicky aroma here. Now you need to do about two to three minutes. So stir it nice and gently, stir the front pan so the garlic golden brown shape brown color now he is adding the chopped onions there we are that will take a few minutes once that's done we will toss the tablespoon of salt over here Next thing we'll top is the, the mixed powder. Obviously the mixed powder you can get hold of any Asian supermarket or large even large supermarkets. They have mixed powder, you can buy them any grocery store available most mainly. And now he's going to chop put the the chili, chili powder in. Yes, he's putting the chili powder. There you go. And the next thing is the potato goes in. There we are. Pressing the potatoes in. And you can you can hear the simmering sound. There we go. It's, what it's gonna do is gonna give a little good mix 
of the ingredients here. As you can see, lovely, nicely mixed ingredients. There we are. So we're going to leave this for about five to seven minutes, and then we will come back again and show you the third video. How is things happening? Huh? So at the moment, we just we will put a lid on that on top of this, cover it up with a lid, and leave it for five to five to five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Yeah. Video again. Uh, since we left, we we have done a bit of turnover and stir the the potatoes. Now we are going to tip the coriander, nicely evenly balanced coriander there, and we will top the chopped up finely chopped up onion. There we go, and we will go we'll. We'll mix them up together again. We'll mix it nice and evenly again. So the ingredients all well mixed. And you have to you have to keep on mixing it. Unless you mix it, you, you have to keep, keep gently simmer it for another couple of minutes. The whole procedure should take you about 20 minutes. Look at the nicely brownish color there. Uh, as you can see, still simmering away. And normally, make sure you will have a get low, lower setting on your gas marks because you don't want to burn while you're cooking. So just make sure you have it on a lower gas setting. As you can see, our alu bhaji stir fry potato is almost ready. We'll show you, we'll put it on a dish in a minute, so just a few more minutes. Obviously you can, uh, in relation to hot chili, you, you can use chopped up green chilies. If you like green chilies, you can put green chili. Uh, if you like very hot, you can... Put, uh, according to your need, you know, the, uh, the chili powder. Or if you don't have coriander, you can put some parsley. That will give you an even greater flavor. There we are. There we go. It's, and it's, um, we give a final mix up. There we go. We we will here. We are. You have your. We have our alu bhaji. It's best to serve with plain rice. If you eat in it, eat this with plain rice. It'll be very excellent taste. It's fantastic. It goes well with plain rice. Normally we eat it with plain rice. There we go, a quick, easy recipe. There we go. It's, um, this is a quite favorite recipe in Bangladesh. And we just showed you how to make it now. So, thank you for watching the video.